Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon, and in this video I'll be talking about the Legendary Collection Pokemon set, which was, which was the 12th expansion in the Pokemon sets. This set was released on May 24th, 2002, only in the United States and Europe, and it contains 110 cards. This is, a base, this is basically Base Set 3, and it seems like Wizards of the Coast didn't name this set Base Set 3 because Base Set 2 didn't go over so well, so they named it Legendary Collection. And this set was actually one of the more popular sets that Wizards of the Coast uh, did make. The set symbol is this metal type looking thing. Down here you can see the set number, 110 cards in the set. This set combined the following sets. It combined Base Set, Jungle, Fossil, and Team Rocket, and then it included one Black Star promo card, which was Mewtwo. And this set actually appealed to the actual TCG players because it included basically repeats in the packs. So it included the same types in the packs, so it'd, e it'd be easier to set up decks from those packs. And I know when I opened an, a Legendary Collection booster box, it seemed like every pack I got the same cards in there. This set is actually the first set to introduce Reverse Hollow cards. The Reverse Hollows in this set, which were included in every pack, and every card in the set was available in a Reverse Hollow form, was basically all silver all over the card. And if you watch the video I'll have a link to in the underbar below, you'll be able to see every pack that you get a, a all silver looking card. But that was the first set that introduced a reverse hollow card and it's stuck ever since. Also this is the first set when you bought a booster box there's a box top on it. There's four different varieties. When I opened my booster box I had a Charizard box topper so it was a reverse hollow version of Charizard from this set and then it was just a you know a bigger a bigger card. You can't use it in play but it's more of a collective I collector's item. Another thing about this set is that its cards are, are reprints of the older sets and they didn't change formats. This set was released after the Neo sets and Neo changed the look of their cards a little bit from Base Set Fossil, Jungle, and Team Rocket. But this set went back to the old formatted cards to look exactly the same um, f for the cards that they reprinted. My favorite card in this set would be the Charizard. I actually pulled one when I opened the box. I was quite excited about it. This set has two theme decks released with it, Turmoil and Lava. Turmoil was, an, was a water and electric type deck, and then Lava was a fire and psychic type deck. And you can actually get Legendary Collection Booster Boxes somewhat cheap today. You can get them under $200 for sure. I definitely recommend picking one up. This is probably one of my favorite sets because it combines so many of the old school cards that I really enjoyed collecting, especially when I was younger, that's what I got a lot of. So that ends my discussion on Legendary Collection Pokemon cards. Once again, I'll have a link to both my booster box opening and a link to card scans from this set so you can choose your favorite one and comment in the comment section below with your favorite card. Also, check out my Facebook blog and Twitter links from the underbar below. So thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.